Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jam Moses, currently live streaming on YouTube, but I wanted to go over the cards that we got today and the agendas. Um, I'm not sure what's coming out of those mystery event packs that 2K was mentioning in the blog. We're going to be uh, doing, I don't want to really call it a deep dive, but we're going to be investigating what's coming out of those packs while we're on stream today for the next hour and a half or so. Um, but go Luka Doncic and his adversaries are all here. Uh, not all that excited about this card at all. Um, what's nice is that every Luka you get is going to be point guard eligible. Um, because you're not going to play him at any other position but point guard. I just don't like getting GOAT point guards. I enjoy getting GOATs that are power forward or centers. Just because I feel like if you're going to get point guard center Luka, why would you ever play him at the center position? It makes no sense, you know. Um, but along with the Lukas, we've gotten these uh, new Dark Matter fireworks and 100 overall fireworks cars that are in the game uh and the cards look pretty solid sean bradley looks pretty underwhelming but that was to be expected he's a free tall free look at me i apologize not free he is a player market dark matter center card so of course 2k would make him trash even though he costs 315k the jumper does not look that good on the card from what i've seen on twitter and the ratings don't look that great either 75 three ball you can get that ball handle up to an 86 with a shoe and a coach boost which is pretty nice uh, perimeter defense 79 speed i mean all these athletic ratings look pretty terrible so um i don't know if i'm going to be that excited about getting him if i choose to lock in this collection which i am considering doing because uh i am a fan of a number of these cards here John Morant, I wouldn't be crazy about, but I do have a history of struggling against people that use John Morant against me in my team this year. Uh, Paolo, I liked his Galaxy Opal Pro Pass card that we got a couple of seasons ago, so his 100 would be a lot of fun to use. Melo, obviously I'm a Knicks fan. Would enjoy using this card, especially now that he's shooting guard eligible. I just wish he was in a Knicks uniform and not a Nuggets uni, but it is what it is. And then Will Chamberlain, I've seen a number of people on Twitter say that this card looks absolutely insane. So if we were to lock in this collection and get Wilt, I'd be pretty happy. I guess he'd probably be the card I would want the most, but it may end up being Mellow who I want the most. We'll have to see. It depends on if we lock it in or not. Uh, to be determined. Let's take a quick look at these agendas right here to see what they look like. Um, I did look at them briefly earlier on stream, and they really didn't look all that bad. I believe the only multiplayer one is this one, where you need to get 50 assists, and you can get it done in any multiplayer game mode which is really nice. So for me, it'll be predominantly through clutch time online, and then maybe with a little dabble of uh, triple threat online. We'll have to see. Um, you can do this in triple threat offline, winning three games, or sorry, winning five games using three opal or higher players. So that should not be bad. Um, 40 dunks with dark matter or higher players. You can combine this one with this one right here because in each one of these five games you can get 11 dunks if you're able to get the right animation to get those dunks so you can get these 40 dunks done through here or you can get them passively through playing in online and getting you know dunks through those 50 assists that you uh, that you have uh make 43 pointers with pink diamond or lower players this is really not that bad my best recommendation for that uh agenda right there um is to go into triple threat offline and then bring one of the kyle corvers i think i have every kyle corver i have the ruby the galaxy opal uh and the pink diamond i just got the galaxy opal he was a deal of the day a couple of days ago um but i can't use that one unfortunately so i can either use this one or the pink diamond but the ruby one is really good the ruby and the pink diamond i think have the same jump shot um so for me it doesn't really matter i prefer the ruby i have a lot of games with this card let me see how many i'm afraid to even look yeah, 793 games with Kyle Korver. This card has been my triple threat offline slave for the entirety of the year. Um, and I think he's, he's ugh, can't even talk. I think he's in the player market. So if you want to get that card, you can use him if you want. Um, I really need to prioritize my coffee in the morning for I do these YouTube videos. Anyways, uh, Doncic, 73 points with a player in a game. I believe you should be able to couple that up with the Luka Doncic GOAT Challenge. Let's take a look and see what the requirement is for that. Yeah, there you go. 73 points in a game with a player. If you're like me and you have not completed the Invincible grind yet for what we got on Monday, um, then while you're getting those 73 points with a player and you're knocking out that 73-point agenda as well, you can also knock out um, 
this USA agenda right here. At least get one of these 50 point games done. I can, you know, I've only done two so far. I need nine more games. Um, and so getting that 73 points with a player will help me with this agenda as well, which is pretty nice. Um, outside of that, did not mean to back all the way out. Uh, you have to win five games by 10 or more points. That should be pretty easy. You can probably, if you play your cards right, you can probably get that done while completing this agenda right here. And if not, if you're okay with playing online and multiplayer games, you know, you can probably get this done or not done, but at least put a dent into this agenda while playing online. So that shouldn't be too bad. And then you got to just complete the fireworks spotlight challenges. We can take a look and see if we can make out what it says in the font here in the fine print. Let's take a look and see. So fireworks. So win the game to 15 points, win the game to 21 points and score 15 points with one player. And then win the game to 40 points. Is that, is that, wait, is that by one or more points? Okay, well, that should not be hard. All three of these should be very easy to complete. Uh, I forgot that we got new Team USA Invincibles today. All the cards look really nice, but I don't really want to acknowledge cards that you have a less than 2% chance of pulling. So that's all I'm going to say about the USA cards. I am very interested to see what we get from those mystery packs. Um, let's see. Uh, because right now there's nothing in the event exchange and unless I'm missing something here let's see are there any so this is the usual the locks that we've been getting now for the last couple of weeks hmm yeah so we don't have we don't have any new exchange packs right so I said in my last video when I was previewing what I expect to get uh, for the 4th of July event, I was saying that, you know, my fear is 2K continues the trend of making each holiday event worse than the previous one. And this looks to be the case. Again, for Thanksgiving, any event card we got, and we got those event cards for Thanksgiving at a pretty high rate, I think. You could put towards um, getting different, you know, exchanges completed. I forget which player was um a part of the exchange for thanksgiving um for the holiday event we could get presents or coal but you could exchange two coal for one present and you could put those presents towards patrick ewing i think he had a diamond card in the beginning portion of the holiday event and then in the latter half we got a diamond rj barrett which you could also put presents towards i believe it wasn't presents i believe that was like fireworks um but then we got like something similar to coal where you could turn them into fireworks so at least that was kind of nice where if you got something that wasn't present like if you didn't get a present card you could get the coal and you can turn that into presents and then with easter we got blue eggs and golden eggs the blue eggs really didn't carry much value at all you really wanted the golden eggs and the golden egg pull rate was pretty was pretty low but at least if you got golden eggs you could have put those towards the exchange to get something kind of nice now it looks like we're getting nothing in the exchange so you're opening up these mystery event packs and whatever you get out of it is what you get out of it you can't flip it into something else so that could potentially really suck i feel like we're gonna have to play a number of games and see what we get maybe i'll try and play a bunch of games and open up maybe like 15 or 20 of those packs and we'll see what we get out of those 15 or 20. we'll see how many of those packs end up being shoe boost how many of them of them end up being players um, I know they mentioned that we could get GOAT cards out of them. There's a 0% chance uh, you're, you're getting a GOAT card. I'm sorry, you're just not. Um, but I'm hoping that we get a fair number of players that come out of those packs and that we get uh, some good players in there. Maybe we get some Dark Matters. I would love to see, honestly, I would really like to see a high chance of pulling Pink Diamonds because you can't get Pink Diamonds right now um from playing the game right like if you go to triple threat for example which we got a richard jefferson who looked like his jump shot was changed by the way but i don't know if it's going to be a good enough change where i would advocate for you grinding 100 wins in triple threat offline in july to get this card but we'll have to see um you can see right now um we have a 100 overall magic mo bamba and lonzo ball as our three cards which makes my prediction look wrong i was predicting that we were going to get three aftershock players and it looks like we're getting um 100 overall magic instead who i think was from bracket busters i think that's what it says over there then we have mo Bamba from aftershock and then lonzo ball from the ignite um which is you know it is what it is right 
Um, but yeah, we can't get pink diamonds. So if you can give us a pink diamond from those mystery event packs, that wouldn't be bad because you can exchange a pink diamond for a, where is it? Right here. You can exchange it for a fireworks pack, which is what we will do later on in stream. Cause I have to open up a pack and get a pink diamond. So anyways, this video is running almost longer than I wanted it to. I just wanted to really go over the agendas, the players, uh, and the event packs going over what I hope comes out of them. Again, we're going to work on a video, hopefully for later on today, where I can open up around 20 hopefully and we can see what we get and we can you know kind of create a list so we can see what the odds are from you know 20 mystery event packs so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed until next time i'll see you later